WBAM is back. Corey's right. It is never too early to talk about the Nutcracker and, of course, to see amazing ballet dancers. Oh, yeah, I love it. Uh, it's so athletic and graceful, Cor. Yeah. Hey, Corey. I know. There's some of the strongest athletes uh, in the world. They're dancers, but boy, they're all in great shape, and they're really excited about their big uh, production of the Nutcracker. Ballet Etudes gets after it every year. We always love to come and preview things. Let's meet everybody. Uh, we'll start over here. Your first name? Haley, mm -hmm. Kendall, yes. Mary Jane, Natalie, Lizzie, Hannah, Sophia, Jessica, Chloe, Sarah, Maggie. Very good. All right. Well, you all look terrific. Places, everybody. We'll get the music going and we'll just see what this production is about. We've got a medley to show you, first of all. And Sam McWhite is with us. Uh, you've, you're a mom. You've got a dancer, an injured dancer right now. Uh, but she'll be participating in the show as we get on into the uh, Christmas season. Did you grow up dancing yourself? I did not. I did I, not either. I know it's a beautiful world to be a part of, but unfortunately, I did not dance as a child, so I get to live through them and the magic they produce every year. Well, sure. It's nice to see all of them out here in this uh, medley. Uh, give us an idea of what what it's been like for your daughter uh, to get involved in the company and what kind of fun she too. Um, she actually she's had a blessed time. She loves it. She's been dancing since she was about nine years old. Um, she's joined Ballet Etudes Company about seven years ago. So. She She's having a fantastic time and loves performing in the Nutcracker every year with her family and friends. It really is a great production, and, um, and this is a, a great one to see for sure. Uh, you play at some beautiful houses. Give, give me an idea of the kind of the nuts and bolts, the dates and places yeah. and so forth. So we perform at both Chandler Center for the Arts and Mesa Art Center starting November 26th, so that's Thanksgiving weekend, mm -hmm. and it runs through December 19th. We do eight shows at Chandler Center for the Arts and then six shows at Mesa Art Center every year. Yeah. Well, as we know, families move to Arizona every summer when school is out, they pile on in, and uh, a lot of them bring their young dancers along. They're looking for a studio yeah. or a school to uh, to dance with. Uh, you've got auditions coming up, we right? Do. Tell me about those. Yes, yeah, so our first auditions are August 28th. Those are our company auditions, and those are for dancers aged 9 through 18 to join our company and perform in each of our productions throughout the year, including our Nutcracker. And then we do have our Nutcracker auditions on September 11th, and that is open auditions for ages 7 through 18, both male and female. And you need boys. Let's uh, let's make sure boys. of that, right? Yes, we have the party scene and the fight scene, so we need boys. No dance training required, 7 to 18. They can come and have a great time dancing in the party scene and fighting with Fritz, and then in the fight scene with the Mice King and have a blast. It's great. And I would recommend if you're a mom watching today and uh, you've got a, a young boy and get his friends with him to get a whole crowd of good buddies yes. together, it's they fun. They have a blast. They have a fantastic time both on stage and off stage. It's so much fun for them. Uh, well, thanks for sharing everybody with us. We've got lots more dancing coming up as the morning rolls on. And uh, once again, uh, the audition days for the day for the company itself is? Is August 28th for our dancers 9 to 18, and registration can be done online at balletetudes.net beforehand or the day of starting at 12 p.m. on August 28th. And then specifically to audition for the Nutcracker? On the Nutcracker is September 11th. You could also pre-register online at balletetudes.net or come day of and register at 12.30. Very good. Well, thanks for sharing everybody with us this morning. Next time we get together, more dancing, of course. It's Ballet Etudes. Uh, we're here in Gilbert, just east of Gilbert Road uh, on... So what's we are on Baseline between on baseline. Gilbert and Lindsay. Gotcha. Easy to find you guys. All right. Lots more coming your way from the Southeast Valley. We'll see you again in a few. So graceful. How do they so, get up so on those pretty. toes like that? I know. It's amazing. Wow. You can watch that. that all day long. It is a holiday tradition for so many families. We're talking about the Nutcracker. Dun, 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 dun. Corey's out ballet at two days. Hey, Cor. Oh, look at this. Good morning, you guys. We'll let this run for just a moment. Ah, uh, Sarah, that is terrific. Now, you are one of a bunch of sisters here, right? Yes. Uh, point out your sisters, if you can recognize Mary them. Mary Jane. Yeah, it's Mary Maggie. Jane. 
Oh, really? Now, is this Maggie's usual dress up around the house? No. Okay, this is just for the show, right? I think because a lot, a lot of kids of Maggie's age might want to be in their costumes at all times. Maggie, did you know that you were going to be a mouse in this year's production? Did you know ahead of time? No. Were you a mouse last year? No. Well, do you think you'd want to be a mouse again next year? Yes. Oh, really? Wouldn't you like to knock this girl out of her position? Perhaps get into the marzipan world? No, I want to walk her out. <laughs> oh, good. I like the trash talk. We don't, we don't get it very often in the ballet world, uh, but this is good. And how old are you this year? I'm 16. 16, and you're 10. Eight and a half. Oh, eight and a half. Well, this could be quite a, quite a match. I think you're outweighed by a few pounds, but uh, good. Uh, good luck to you. She seems feisty. Why? Okay, take your position back there. All right, we've got lots more dancing ahead this morning. And thank you very much, Sarah, for uh, your uh, role there first. Uh, let's get the music going again. Uh, we'll chat with uh, Sam McWhite. And uh, this is my favorite part of the day when the music begins. Um, tell me, for those who missed our first segment, this is a long-running nutcracker is. tradition for Etudes, right? Yes, we have been running for 35 years. This is our 35th year. We're one of the longest-running nutcrackers in the valley. Um, and for this year, we have some exciting updates to our fight scene and some other new changes. And so it's going to start November 26th and run through December 19th. Wow, well that's great. Right after Thanksgiving you can get going. Absolutely, it's a great family tradition. So for people who have seen it before, there's gonna be new exciting things. And for our first timers, it's great classic and a wonderful Christmas tradition to start with your family. Really terrific. Your costumes are beautiful, of course. And I would guess that in 35 years, there have to be the daughters and sons of former dancers, yes. right? Yes, actually we do have um, multiple generations that dance for us throughout the years. They come back and then their daughters come back. In fact, actually Haley, who is dancing right now, mother, did dance um, for us when she was younger. And now Haley, who is 17 and doing our Spanish hot chocolate, is dancing with us now. So it is a generational thing and we have the joy of having family stay with us year after year. This is terrific. Well, here's uh, Clara dancing now. Of course, the story centers around her and her uh, terrific dream and all the magical places that she visits. Um, I'm always concerned about her brother. He seems like the... He's like a typical brother, isn't he? Is. He's not getting all the attention, and she's getting the attention, and Godfather Drostemeyer has given her a special gift, and so he's a little jealous, and there was a little bit of a temper tantrum during yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah. There's no spanking in the show, right? There is not. There is just kind of... Perhaps there should be. There might need to be a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, give us the audition days and times. <laughs> First of all, to just audition to be in Ballet Etudes. That's coming up soon. Yes, that is coming up soon. So we have our company auditions on August 28th, and those are for dancers age 9 through 18 who have been classically trained and have the personality and technical proficiency and then on September 11th is our Nutcracker auditions they are open to ages 7 through 18 you do not need any prior dance experience both male and female so starting at 7 years old very good and we'll finish with this lovely dance and this is your this is our do drop fair do drop fair well she's terrific she is. she is absolutely beautiful and you can find all information for our auditions and our company at balletetudes.net very good, balletetudes.net. Um, it's terrific. I wish you could all, if you've never seen The Nutcracker, what's wrong with you? you got to get out and uh, catch the show, both at uh, Chandler Center for the Arts and the Mesa Arts Center as well. Oh, look, here's the staff back here. Nobody rides for free. No. Nope. Oh, look at them all ducking and hiding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks the so corner. much for uh, sharing all of Aww. these great dancers with us. And uh, we'll spin it around. We'll finish with the dancing and we'll see you all again. You see, folks. Merry Christmas, everyone. They left. They bail. Real quick. Now let's focus on the gumdrop fairy. Doing a great job. Yes, yeah, so beautiful. If you haven't seen it, it really is a special treat for the kids, too. Hmm. Yeah, I can watch so that all beautiful. day.